So remote workflows are going to be normal now uh, for a lot of us, uh, including you know the high-end professionals uh, when it comes to video editing and post-production. Um, you know, a lot of us have gear at home to be able to do this kind of work. And, and for a lot of us in a, in a pinch, you know, over the last uh, couple months, we've brought home gear from the office and been pretty successful with it, all things considered. That said, our workflows in general have probably suffered the most. And that's because we're used to working, you know, from centralized storage. You know, we're very collaborative with our teams. We drop things in folders, other people go and pick them up and work with them. Uh, you know, my After Effects folks send me graphics, I send stuff out to color and sound. And and that's how we're used to working. And, and that, you know, we've got the equipment, but do we have the collaboration tools in place? Do we have the, you know, the local performance? You know, not everybody's home has the ability to push, you know, gigabytes a second in, in most cases. Um, that said, you know, when it comes to building a solid remote workflow, the things we're going to have to start looking at now that this is, you know, something we're probably going to have to to really make a permanent feature of our worlds is we're going to have to make sure that the local performance is there. So things like local caches, local drives, things like that, which most of us already have, but the added component is we have to be able to share that information with the rest of our team. Um, you know, doing Dropbox with individual files, emailing stuff back and forth, it's not really good enough for the the, co the collaborative workflow to, to be uh, similar to where we were with the, the local NAS systems. Um, so you need things like real-time syncing, where if I drop a file in a folder within a few seconds, it's already to my whole team. Um, things like that, and, and it's not only to the whole team, but it's on, to the whole team on their performance storage so they can open up that file and use it and, you know, right there with the, uh, the project that they're working on, that we're all working on. Um, so making sure that we have that access, that performance, and, and that technology to keep things moving the way that we're used to having it move. Like, what we don't want to do in all this is sacrifice change, uh, sacrifice to change. I mean, we're, gonna, we're already having to sacrifice to bandwidth, right? Like, that's the one thing that, that we really can't change at this point. But, um, you know, uh, being having the technology to do the high performance and, and the sync is a really big part of keeping things moving.